So before moving on, I wanted to cover some of the, some of the properties of uh, vector cross products. And I will not be proving all of these properties, but I would urge you to practice with a few examples and convince yourself that the following properties are indeed true. So the first one is anti-commutativity. So the, so the cross product of U and V is the negative of the cross product of V and U. Let's see. So the sixth property states that the cross product of a vector with itself is zero. Um, the seventh property is an extension of the sixth and third property. And you can see why this is the case, right? So if V and U are parallel, then V is equal to C into U. Hence, uh, U cross V would be equal to U cross C into U. And using property uh, three, this can be written as C into U cross U, which is equal to zero. Uh, the eighth property is interesting. So there is there is an identity which is like so. So the length of u cross v square plus the length of u dot v square is equal to the product of length of u and v. Sorry, this the product of the square of lengths of u and v. And you can um, you can check the uh, truthiness of this statement by taking a few examples, or you can also work it out from the first principles. But what it really essentially it means is that. Uh, u cross v the length of this guy is square and if I were to take it on the right hand side this would become and minus and we know that uh, the length of so so we also know that u length of u dot v is equal to u length of u into length of v into cos of theta where theta is the angle between u and v right so this guy can this guy can be further be written as u square length of length of u square square of length of v into cos square theta and this can be written as u square square of length of v into 1 minus cos square theta and we know that the that 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta so this further simplifies into the following so this becomes uh, the square of the length of u multiplied by the square of the length of v multiplied by sine square theta is this quantity and we can conveniently take uh, square roots on both sides and what we are left with is that the length of the uh, cross product of u and v is equal to the length of u multiplied by length length of v into sine of the angle between them and which is what this uh, property eight, eight states let's see so the length of u cross v is the area of a parallelogram with u and v as adjacent sides all right so let's draw a parallelogram first with u and v as adjacent sides. So let's say this be vector u and this be vector v. Okay. And let us drop a perpendicular. This is b to the base. Uh, let's, let's call this guy h. All right. And we know that the area of a parallelogram is 
द लेंथ ऑफ द बेस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द हाइट विच इज एच इन दिस केस एंड लेट थेटा बी द एंगल बिटवीन वैक्टर यू एंड वी एंड यूजिंग वेरी सिंपल टेक्नोमेट्री वी कैन फाइंड आउट दैट एच इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ वी टाइम साइन थेटा सो द एरिया ऑफ द पैलोरोग्राम बिकम्स एंड सब्सटीट्यूटिंग दिस फॉर एच बिकम्स लेंथ ऑफ वी इंटू लेंथ ऑफ यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन ऑफ द एंगल बिटवीन द वैक्टर्स uh yeah so associativity is also not valid in case of uh, vector cross products so uh, this this term is not equal to this term okay and lastly the orientation of cross product follows the right hand rule yeah so this is interesting so let's say there be a vector u okay and let's say there is a vector v right and if we were to find the cross product of u and v it's going to be perpendicular to both u and v so assume that this is a three dimensional structure right so we know that this will be per perpendicular to both u and v u cross v but which direction right it can either go in this direction or it can go in this direction so there is a convenient way by which you can figure out what's the direction of u cross v and this is using the right hand rule so assume that you place the uh, base of your right hand on the vector u and curl your fingers in the direction of vector v so let's say let me draw the hand it's going to be a very dirty drawing but yeah so let's say you place the base of your right hand uh, along the vector u and you curl it curl your fingers right along the direction of vector v in then in that case the direction of your thumb gives the direction of u cross v so this will be a direction of u cross v okay